Hello gorgeous. Sometimes we have things in our wardrobe that get in the way of wearing our best style. Things that act as distractions, things that create chaos, things that when we put them on, bleh. So let's chat about some of these things that I myself have been decluttering lately. I guess the most obvious category for me has been getting rid of colors that don't work anymore. You know, for a while there, I was a warm toned girl, but over the last year, we've gone to the dark side. We, we've jumped over the, the fence towards the cool tones. So that's where we're at. So for a little while, I held onto quite a lot of this stuff. Just at first, I was happy to have a larger wardrobe, but I did notice that after a while, those things weren't getting anywhere, especially as I started adding pieces that were more aligned with my wardrobe at this time. There were definitely expensive designer pieces that I sort of realized they were going to waste. I have been removing things that can be sold. Basically things that perhaps I even enjoyed them for a little while, but they're just not getting a lot of wear. And because I bought high quality things in the first place, they now have some resale value. The lesson that I've learnt trying to sell a lot of the stuff, and I mean, I have sold quite a lot of this stuff, but some things just aren't going. And I think the lesson is if you are going to invest in more expensive things, make sure the brands are not too obscure. Things that were super expensive that I bought from less known, more obscure brands, those things were a lot harder to shift and I lost more value on them. Now this one may not apply to you specifically. Maybe you are someone who likes things of a more elaborate style. For myself personally, I even when I experiment with things that are a little bit more decorative, that have a little bit more stuff happening on them, in the end, I just don't end up wearing those things. My true, true aesthetic is very, very simple. And at the end of the day, I always end up gravitating back towards those things that are really, really simple. And that's not to say that I'm not going to experiment, but you know, if I do get some things that are a little bit more elaborate and I give them a go once or twice and I can just tell, I just feel that thing in my soul where I'm like, oh, it's just, it doesn't feel right. And then I'm just fine, let it go, sell it, let it go. Things that crease now, you my friend will know that for a long time, I was a silky girl. I was into all the silks and the things that look like silk, the viscose that looks like silk. I loved a bias cut dress, skirt, whatever. Aside from a very few examples, such as this skirt from Ozma, which doesn't crease, I'm definitely not adding things in slinky fabrics to my wardrobe at this time. And I have also sold quite a few of such pieces or I did have some pieces from a brand that shall not be mentioned that I really loved for a while. And that the, yeah, the quality just wasn't as good as it once was before. And so I have ended up kind of decluttering some of those pieces as well because they just weren't sellable. So I ended up giving them away. It was really frustrating whenever I'd you know, get these pieces, they look perfect when they're on the hanger or you put them on for the first five minutes, but then the moment you sit down and obviously you often need to drive somewhere or get driven somewhere. So you sit down in that car and then you get out and those pants or that skirt just has these awful creases around the thigh crutchel zone and it's not cool. It's not cute. I've been really excited to actually get rid of such pieces in my wardrobe. I'm definitely attempting to stick to fabrics that are a little bit more thicker, a little bit more structured, maybe have a little bit of stretch in them, a little bit of give. Often having a little bit of a stretch in the fabric is what gives it give. <laughs> so it can withstand the roller coaster ride that is your life. I have said goodbye to some pants that fit wrong. There have been lots of changes over the last year, stylistically, in terms of my size. I mean, I haven't shrunken that much, but yeah, some things that already didn't fit quite right, now it's become a little bit more obvious. Now these pants from Ozma, I am so obsessed with these right now. I've forgotten what they're called. I'll put the name of the product on the screen right now. And of course I do have a discount code that you can use for Ozma, but these pants are actual magic. Like I was quite hesitant ordering them. I'll be honest with you. Oh, and by the way, they were a gift from Ozma. Um, I was quite hesitant ordering them, but I looked at the size guide and they have actually ended up being completely perfect. I cannot, express to you how much I love these pants, how much they look amazing, 
and I really, 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 really want to try them in the color putty. This is just the black. Now the black is a little bit grayish. It's not like a true dark velvety black. So just keep that in mind. But I've started along with a matching jacket, an Ozma belt, an Ozma bodysuit, which also is a really perfect fit. And oh, I, yeah, I cannot wait to wear this outside. Uncomfortable underwear or underwear that's gotten too old and droopy, floppy, jalopy. As women, we do hold on to the comfortable underwears. Uh, also, we have a tendency of buying underwear that maybe isn't too comfortable but looks good. But at the end of the day, your underwear is the, the structure of your outfit. It is the most important part of your outfit in a lot of ways. Whatever is going on with your underwear is going to be affected by what goes on top and it's going to affect what goes on top. So yeah, this is an important relationship in our wardrobe that we must think about the relationship between our body, our underwear and the rest of our outfit. Shoes with the soles worn away. I have a rickety dickety knee. I have become a lot more sensitive to my footwear in recent years. And there's just none of these situations where I'm holding onto old shoes just for the sake of holding onto them or because they're still good. I now check the soles of my shoes regularly. Sometimes you can get them resold, but sometimes it's actually the inner part of the shoe, like the inner padding of the shoe that is no longer supportive in a way that's positive for your joints. And this is serious. I think you should take your joint health seriously because once you, your knee is rickety dickety, it's rickety dickety for good. Of course, if you've been following for any amount of time, I'm obsessed with these V Prime sneakers, which are now my primary sneakers. Clothing made from the wrong fabrics. So what we're talking about here is when the mood isn't quite right. You want a smooth, sleek, sensual vibe, you know, a raggedy cotton's not gonna do that for you or a linen. There have been certain fibers in my life that just don't feel quite right and, um, I would do an audit of your fibers if you are trying to lift the mood or uh, align the mood of your wardrobe with a certain mood that you're interested in. Now, jewelry is a category that is definitely difficult to declutter, especially if we're talking about fine jewelry that's made out of precious things. Are these, my friends, I know it's unbelievable, but are not made of true diamonds. Shock horror, but I have decluttered some fine jewelry. It's tricky because it's valuable, but it's also tricky because it's not that easy to sell. It's not the funnest category of things to declutter, but at some point it needs to be done. Worn out pajamas. Okay, shall we just say worn out things? Okay, so we're gonna say worn out PJs under the umbrella of worn out things, full stop. The reason I'm saying specifically pajamas and we can add leisure wear to this sure if you want to feel your best you want to dress your best it's all good and great if you put on that outfit go out into the world looking fabulous but then if you're lurching around lurching around the basement <laughs> i'm painting you an image here you're lurching around the basement of your building for some reason in uh, you know really worn out awful things it's it's you're, you're doing the opposite now of doing your best. You don't have to invest a huge amount of money in leisure wear and comfort wear in general, pajamas, but definitely, definitely try to make sure that that stuff is up to a level where you would be happy for other people to see it, I guess would be the standard. Oh well, I, I guess that's it. Let me know in the comments some categories that really bother you or you find difficult to declutter. Oh, and also elephant in the room. Of course, on my other channel, I am making travel content. I have returned from my travels in real life, but over there you will be seeing my travels for the next few foreseeable futures. I do have some content obviously on Patreon to do with some of my travels. I post new videos there every week, every Friday. And last Friday's video was a little bit of a controversial one. My personal opinion about a place that I visited that I wouldn't necessarily want to voice out loud to the larger population. So if you are interested in my more personal opinions, then you definitely want to join our lovely Patreon community, which by the way, you can leave at any time. And there's like a million videos been posting since 2017 at this point. So have fun, have fun with that rabbit hole. I love to you.
and yours and I'll see you soon. Bye.